people transferred fairly significant balances from other accounts to their Chase credit card accounts, expecting low interest rates over a long period of time and that they would be able to maintain those rates so long as they made timely monthly payments. They did it so well, they were so responsible about their loans from Chase, that Chase decided to terminate the program. It simply wasn't making enough money. And these people felt attacked merely because they were honoring their credit card agreements. And we fought hard for these people and ultimately settled the case a couple months before trial. And what we achieved was a $100 million cash settlement, which is largely unheard of in consumer class actions. We had to survive a motion to dismiss. We had to survive summary judgment. We went through three mediators. So this is not something that the bank would ever have done voluntarily. This is something that we need our court system to help us do, and we need to put sustained pressure on large companies through tenacity in litigation to make this happen. Consumers shouldn't presume that powerful banks and other powerful interests can just get away with doing bad things. Good qualified counsel who are committed to a cause can usually figure out how to prosecute such cases effectively and prevail.